Uveitis is a condition characterized by the inflammation of the uvea, which is the middle layer of the eye. The uvea consists of three important structures, the iris, which is the colored part of the eye, the ciliary body, which produces fluid inside the eye, and the choroid, which is a layer of blood vessels that provides oxygen and nutrients to the retina. To put it simply, uveitis affects the part of the eye that provides most of the blood supply to the retina. So when uveitis occurs, it can result in pain, redness, blurred vision, and light sensitivity. It is important to note here that uveitis is not a disease on its own, but rather a symptom of an underlying issue, which can range from infections to autoimmune disorders. It can occur suddenly and last for a short period or become chronic and persist for months or even years. While uveitis can affect people of all ages, it is most commonly seen in young and middle-aged adults. The condition can affect one eye or both eyes, and if left untreated, it can lead to permanent vision loss. It is estimated that uveitis accounts for approximately 10 to 15% of cases of severe vision impairment in developed countries. That's why early diagnosis and treatment are crucial for preserving your eyesight. Types of uveitis. Uveitis is classified in multiple types based on which part of the uvea is affected. Number 1. Anterior uveitis. Anterior uveitis is the most common form, and it affects the front part of the uvea, including the iris. This type is often called iritis and can be acute or chronic. Symptoms tend to come on suddenly and can persist for a few weeks. Number 2. Intermediate uveitis. Intermediate uveitis involves the middle part of the eye, particularly the vitreous, the gel-like substance that fills the eye, as well as the peripheral retina. Number 3. Posterior uveitis. Posterior uveitis affects the back part of the uvea, including the choroid and retina. This type is less common but more serious as it can directly affect vision. Number 4. Panuveitis. Panuveitis is when inflammation spreads throughout the entire uvea, affecting the front, middle, and back of the eye all at once. This is the most severe form, as it includes all parts of the uvea and can cause widespread damage within the eye. Symptoms of uveitis. The symptoms of uveitis can vary depending on which part of the uvea is affected, but there are several common signs to watch for. Eye redness is typically one of the first noticeable symptoms, with the white part of the eye appearing pink or red due to inflamed blood vessels. Eye pain often accompanies uveitis and can range from a dull ache to a sharp, severe pain that worsens with eye movement or light exposure. Light sensitivity or photophobia makes bright lights uncomfortable or even painful, causing you to squint or close your eyes in well-lit environments. Blurred vision is another hallmark symptom, as inflammation can disrupt the eye's normal function and clarity. You might notice your vision becoming hazy or unfocused, making daily activities challenging. Some individuals notice an increase in floaters, which are small dark spots or lines that drift across their field of vision. These floaters result from inflammatory cells or debris in the vitreous humor and may increase in number as the inflammation progresses. Excessive tearing or watery eyes can also occur due to irritation and the body's response to inflammation. In more severe cases, uveitis can lead to decreased vision or blind spots, particularly if the inflammation spreads to the retina or optic nerve. In chronic cases, symptoms may come and go over time, with periods of flare-ups followed by remission. Because uveitis can cause serious complications, including permanent vision loss, it is important to seek medical attention as soon as symptoms appear. Causes of uveitis Uveitis can develop from a variety of causes, making it sometimes challenging to pinpoint the exact cause. Autoimmune disorders are among the most common causes. Conditions like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, ankylosing spondylitis, and psoriatic arthritis can trigger the immune system to mistakenly attack the uvea. The body essentially turns against itself, treating healthy eye tissue as foreign invaders. Infections are another significant cause of uveitis. Bacteria like tuberculosis and syphilis, viruses such as herpes, cytomegalovirus, and HIV, as well as fungal and parasitic infections, can all lead to inflammation in the uvea. Inflammatory diseases that aren't strictly autoimmune can also cause uveitis. 
Each of these conditions involves inflammation throughout the body that can extend to the eyes. Certain cancers, particularly lymphoma, can manifest with uveitis as an early sign. The cancer cells can directly invade the eye or trigger an inflammatory response. Other than these causes, eye injuries or surgeries sometimes lead to traumatic uveitis when the eye's structures become damaged and inflamed in response to the trauma. Some medications, including bisphosphonates used for osteoporosis and certain antibiotics, have also been linked to drug-induced uveitis in rare cases. Interestingly, in many cases, doctors can now identify a specific underlying cause, leading to a diagnosis of idiopathic uveitis, which simply means uveitis of unknown origin. Before we continue, if you have been finding the video helpful so far, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Diagnosis of uveitis. The process begins with a detailed medical history where your doctor will ask about your symptoms, when they started, any previous eye problems, and your general health history. Since uveitis is often linked to systemic conditions, information about other health issues can provide valuable clues. The physical examination typically includes a visual acuity test to measure how well you can see at various distances. Your doctor will also examine your eyes with a slit lamp, a specialized microscope that allows them to see the structures of your eye in detail. During this examination, they can observe inflammation in the interior chamber, check for cells floating in the eye fluid, and look for other signs of uveitis. Your pupils will be dilated with eye drops to allow the doctor to examine the back of your eye, including the retina, optic nerve, and choroid. Additional tests may include measuring the pressure inside your eye, as uveitis can cause either high or low intraocular pressure. Optical coherence tomography are usually ordered as it creates detailed cross-sectional images of the retina, showing swelling or fluid accumulation. Finally, your doctor may also order blood tests, as they can help detect infections, autoimmune diseases, and genetic markers associated with uveitis. Treatment for uveitis Treatment for uveitis aims to reduce inflammation, relieve pain, and prevent complications. Number 1. Corticosteroid medications. These powerful anti-inflammatory drugs form the backbone of uveitis treatment. Eye drops like prednisolone acetate or dexamethasone are typically the first-line treatment for interior uveitis. These drops need to be used frequently during acute phases, sometimes as often as every hour, with the frequency gradually decreasing as inflammation improves. Oral steroids such as prednisone may be necessary for more severe cases or when uveitis affects the back of the eye, where drops can't reach effectively. While these medications work quickly to control inflammation, they come with potential side effects when used long-term, including weight gain, mood changes, osteoporosis, and increased blood sugar. Number 2. Immunosuppressive medications for chronic or severe uveitis, especially when corticosteroids aren't enough or causing intolerable side effects, immunosuppressive drugs may be prescribed. Methotrexate, azathioprine, mycophenolate mofdil, and cyclosporin are commonly used options. These medications work by dampening the overactive immune response that causes inflammation. They typically take several weeks to show full effectiveness and require regular blood tests to monitor for potential side effects on the liver, kidneys, and blood cell counts. Your doctor will carefully weigh the benefits against risks when recommending these powerful medications. Number 3. Biologics. These newer treatments target specific components of the immune system involved in inflammation. Medications like adalimumab, humira, infliximab, remicade, and rituximab have shown remarkable effectiveness for certain types of uveitis resistant to other treatments. These medications are administered by injection or intravenous infusion and work by blocking specific inflammatory pathways. While highly effective, biologics are expensive and may increase the risk of certain infections, requiring careful patient selection and monitoring. Number 4. Antibiotics and Antivirals if uveitis is caused by an infection, appropriate antibiotics or antiviral medications are prescribed to eliminate the infectious agent. The choice of medication depends on the specific pathogen identified. 
For instance, antiviral drugs like acyclovir may be used for herpes-related uveitis, while antibiotics such as doxycycline can treat bacterial infections like syphilis. Number 6. Surgical Intervention when uveitis leads to severe complications that cannot be managed with medications alone, surgical intervention may be necessary. Procedures such as vitrectomy, where the vitreous gel is removed from the eye, can help reduce inflammation and clear debris. This is often considered when there is a significant amount of inflammatory debris or when the uveitis is associated with vitreous hemorrhage. Implantable devices that slowly release corticosteroid medication can be placed inside the eye for long-term treatment of chronic uveitis. These implants can provide controlled medication delivery for several months to years, reducing the need for frequent drops or systemic medications. At the end, with proper treatment and management, most people with uveitis can maintain good vision and eye health, even with this challenging condition. Now, we want to hear from you. Have you or someone you know experienced uveitis? What symptoms did you notice first, and how did you manage the condition? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.